assalamu alaikum beta okay the next topic uh, uh, or topic today under discussion is uh, hemorrhagic septicemia it is also known as uh, in uh, varnex uh, gal ghotu theek hai beta or uh, it is an acute uh, bacterial disease of cattle and buffalo uh, sometimes of rarely in uh, sheep goat and camels it is clinically characterized by high fever more than 106 or 107 fahrenheit degree and swelling at the throat level or neck level severe dyspnea animal dyspnea means uh, difficulty in breathing and animal goes toward depression and uh, due to this disease the mortality yani death rate of the animal is uh, high it is one of the major disease of cattle and uh, buffalo in asia uh, especially pakistan middle east and africa and south europe and uh, if we go towards the uh, etiology of this disease is Uh, that is a microorganism known as pastorella multocida and it has many serotype but the main uh, which is causing this disease in pakistan is b2 and uh, it can uh, be uh, caused at any time in of the year but m- most of the time it is seen in a uh, monsoon season the rainy season when there is a stress of high temperature and humidity the organism are easily killed by disinfectant or uh, dryness and sunshine but can survive from uh, hours to days in the moist condition now coming toward the transmission of the, this disease uh, the uh, hemorrhagic septicemia bacteria resides at the nasopharyngeal region or tonsillar region of the buffaloes and cattles it means throat region in the uh, oral cavity making them carriers of the this disease approximately 5% of uh, cattle and buffalo are carriers and uh, if we goes uh, towards uh, uh, the carrier sick carrier animals they uh, spread it through inhalation uh, through the aerosol spread through air uh, as uh, in nowadays we have uh, corona which uh, can spread through uh, uh, the air to uh, an healthy individual from an infected individual so in similar way the hemorrhagic septicemia bacterium can also spread from air to air to uh, the healthy individual from an infected uh, animal it can also spread through uh, contaminated feed and water as well theek hai or before uh, this disease start if animals are exposed to these factors then uh, there might be possibility of high chances of this disease in those animals which uh, suffer from the stressful condition like nutrition related stress anorexia starvation lack of enough food or particularly during the heavy rainy seasons or floods if uh, animal is having fatigue condition or more exercise condition long distance transportation heavy workload or overcrowding and bad weather can cause uh, this disease in those animal pre existing viral infection if animal is having any uh, infection uh, uh, due to virus as a para influenza virus Uh, then uh, it may cause uh, m- more uh, of this disease chances in those animal coming towards the clinical signs uh, in this uh, uh, disease uh, the animal show inflammation of the throat and the upper respiratory tract and septicemia uh, the incubation period of uh, the microorganism is 3 to 5 days and in per, uh, per acute cases the animal may found dead following a brief period of illness with the, uh, in 8 to 24 hours theek hai minimum 8 to 24 hours ke andar jo hai individual ki death ho jati hai aap kal dekh ke jate hain animal ko next day aate hain to animal ki death hui hoti hai in case of per acute uh, disease then swelling may be seen at the throat and neck region also sometimes at brisket theek hai ji ye jo uh, tango ke darmiyan mein jo uh, hai area front leg ki to wahan pe jo hai swelling dekhne mein aati hai there will be high fever more than 106 to 107 fahrenheit degree there will be excessive salivation and serious uh, nasal discharge due to which the animal uh, will feel difficulty in breathing and the animal will breathe with open mouth with tongue protruded out like in case of dogs they uh, get uh, the respiration through uh, like this but uh, not normal in case of cattle buffalo theek hai then uh, severe con- uh, condition uh, of all mucous membrane and the conjunctiva jo hai wo reddish ho jayega finally the animal will go down and usually die in recumbency uh, within a couple of hours 
the mortality rate uh, in this uh, disease is uh, greater than 80 percent that uh, if an animal is uh, infected by this uh, disease uh, in that case uh, mortality chances are more than 80 percent uh, then occasionally some cases may stay for several days but there is no chronic form of this disease chronic means long term uh, disease ke chances nahi hai uh, hemorrhagic septicemia ke but uh, kuch animal jo hai wo resist kar lete hain aur zara lamba arsa jo hai wo is bimari mein guzar lete hain here you can see the depressed animal ye this swelling area is visible and edematous means water filled area which is uh, pressing uh, the throat region and uh, due to which uh, respiration is uh, difficult and you can see the salivation uh, uh, is from the mouth then uh, literal recumbency and then animal goes towards the death now for diagnostic evidences uh, we can uh, take the history of a stressful situation a high environmental temperature and humidity and especially in the case of monsoon season then clinical signs like high fever and edematous swelling and uh, at throat region and rapid course of disease can cause death if we go towards the treatment of this disease uh, in that we have uh, uh, immediately uh, inject uh, antibiotics like tetracycline streptomycin penicillin ampicillin and chloramphenicol uh, as uh, through intramuscular route or uh, uh, intravenous route iv route anti inflammatory drugs are given dexamethasone uh, mepramine meliate and uh, antiparatic uh, uh, drugs are also given like uh, flognixin meglumin uh, uh, phenyl butazone and uh, sodium salicylate uh, salicylate uh, to re reduce high fever and cold, uh, cold water should be applied on the body and uh, for uh, control and prevention of this disease uh, uh, we uh, follow these steps uh, mainly prevented uh, by uh, sticking toward the vaccination schedule one month before the expected outbreak season of monsoon jo hai ye vaccine kar jani there are three kinds of vaccine available in uh, market plain bacterians uh, which can be affected for four month interval we have to repeat it uh, for three times in uh, uh, a year alum precipitated bacterians which is affected for six month interval we have to provide this uh, uh, vaccination for two uh, times a year and then we have an oil adjuvant bacterians uh, which we can uh, give uh, for annually uh, once a year the oil adjuvant vaccine has not been popular because of the difficulty in administration and adverse local tissue reactions uh, so uh, the other two are more uh, being used in, in the routine uh, field practice and the calves of uh, uh, the cattle buffalo should be vaccinated at the age of 2 month uh, so that we can prevent them from the uh, hemorrhagic septicemia disease okay then uh, the other steps to take uh, this uh, spread of uh, the disease if uh, an uh, infected uh, animal is there in the herd then quarantine the movement of uh, individuals and animals and uh, trace the carriers and then uh, call them and cleaning and disinfection of the area and good management uh, by keeping the animal in good condition reduce the risk of clinical disease and carrier state and avoiding stresses as overcrowding starvation heavy work load and stress causing condition uh, as in heat uh, uh, as in uh, rainy season so this was all thank you so much if you have any question you can ask